Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. Okay, what's going on? Why are you here? I'm here because you were trespassing on state property. Where's your video of that? Where's my video of that? I don't need video of that, sir. Where's your evidence of it? I don't need evidence of it, sir. You don't need evidence to do what? I used to have this saying, cops are the new Ron Paul. Yeah, these guys aren't really acting much like Ron Paul here, are they? But I can back that sentence up. The idea was that in the old days, like if you look at the 2007, 2008 era on YouTube, the word Ron Paul pretty much had to be in the headline if you wanted to have a viral video, or so it seemed. But later, it seemed like the thing you really wanted to have in your headline was the word cops. Because what YouTube became, I think, to me more than anything else, was a place where you simply showed people what you'd always been talking about, the abuse of government, and it was done more by cops than anyone else. I'd never been that interested in cops, but the fact that the viewers wanted cops resulted in me giving them cops. If you won't just stay away from me, I why? don't know why you're so close. Because why? you're making me nervous? Well, I'm starting to wonder, and I'm starting to see some evidence to the effect that, uh, let me start that over. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the topic of Bitcoin is the most exciting one on YouTube today, at least in liberty-leaning circles. Because it seems like I, I, whenever I upload a video that's got the word Bitcoin in the title, it does outperform uh, at least other videos that would be similar in other respects. It can't yet, I mean, I, just because I'm sitting there talking about Bitcoin into a microphone doesn't mean people are going to watch that video more than a video of a cop coming up and harassing me. It doesn't work that way, but... But I have this, you know, pretty good video I shot, you know, earlier in the month. Uh, it wasn't so much a video as a, a call to a Spanish consulate uh, complaining about the situation in Catalonia. And it's a pretty interesting call if you listen to the way the, the, the government worker reacts there. But that video has many fewer hits, a lot fewer hits, than a video which is really much less interesting that just happens to be, it's the same kind of thing where I'm calling a government worker, you know, a government office and complaining about it. And it's not that interesting, but it's got the word Bitcoin in it. And it's got like twice as many hits. And, you know, and you're starting to see uh, the whole concept being either mainstreamed or hyped. Uh, where you've got these sort of MLM sleazy sounding people having seminars about Bitcoin on uh, YouTube. Some of them have slick, cute personalities acting as presenters for them. Uh, I think it was Andreas and Antonopoulos who said that Bitcoin is, it has the level of, of uh, development that the internet did in 1993 but it has the level of hype that the internet had in 1998 so we're we're following a track that is a little bit different from what unfolded in the 90s tech boom but hey that's that's great for videos that have the word bitcoin in them right Anthemopoulos says that what he thinks will happen is uh, you know there's basically the the music will stop playing and there's going to be a lot of people that aren't going to have chairs if if the hype is that far in advance of the reality. Because think how far... <laughs> the, the hype about the Internet was pretty far ahead of, um, of the, the, the real economic capabilities of the Internet. And if the hype about Bitcoin is that much further along, this is going to play out differently. Anyway, if Bitcoin is what people want to hear about, I will give them Bitcoin. Uh, to hear about, not not to receive. I'm not going to hand you Bitcoin. Unless I, unless I really like you. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So, go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, Find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.